Oh, teaching the people through drama, entertaining, educating is our motto. Something like that, yeah. My name is Michael Chanda. I am originally from Zambia. So I dance. I sing, I act, and I teach all those things as well. I teach drumming, I drum as well. I teach drumming, I teach dancing as well. Back home, that's the thing that helped me to get back into education, into school as well. So because I, in my young age, I lost interest in school. But in the name of following dancing, yeah, and following acting, following doing poems, you know, and then got interest back in education so that's really helped and then I thought one, when I was growing up as well I thought this could be a good tool you know to use to engage with the young by telling my own story behind drama behind theatre behind dance behind uh, singing behind acting and all those things you know and just to give them a platform as well for them to choose a different path because you know most of them you know, it's due to their loss of parents, they find their home is on the street and they have lost, totally lost interest and lost hopes and future for, for them. After I finished my secondary school education, me and my friends, we, we, we came up with an idea of forming a group called Barefeet. Yeah, so Barefeet is an organization which works with young people, those living on the street and those at risk and from one of the founders of other my friends. So we are there was like sharing ideas with one of the, our friends from from Ireland, from Northern Ireland. Performed in a lot of uh, uh, festivals around the world as well for young people, you know, to come and meet and showcase to each other. So that's you know i can say i have my my input in what i wanted to do and what i wanted to share with young people and you know can see the the result to some of the young people what they have achieved and what i've achieved as well to see young people growing up in responsible citizens you know trying to also they try as well to change the world when i was growing up you know we used to sit around the fire every every evening and then adults they would be telling stories so that sitting around we call it pansaka so pansaka is a common word back home in zambia it's in a bemba where it's called pansaka where you sit around around the fire at night after dinner and then they'll be telling stories and those stories were not just mere stories those stories like we would get wisdom from their stories they would tell some some stories they would tell in proverbs would learn a lot but all that nowadays it's gone it's no longer there so because of nowadays of all about social media even bedtime stories nowadays is gone there are few people doing bed stories to their children yeah trying to, just trying to bring up that culture you know real culture from so that they can see where they are coming from where they are where their parents they are passed through to keep that culture growing but all the cultures is dying nowadays here in Ireland most of my workshop is I do storytelling trying to show what used to happen in when we used to grow up when we had no phones there was no smartphones you know I used to enjoy those those days of listening to the stories of elders and gather some wisdom some knowledge you know and just that connection between parents and children and grandmothers and grandfathers just that connection in, in when i was i was learning how to do poems we used to have one particular song we used to sing this song used to go like this teaching the people through drama teaching the people through drama entertaining educating is our motto entertaining educating is our motto oh teaching the people through drama entertaining educating is our motto something like that yeah we used to have more fire than we so excited to do that.